there's a Russian saying that translates out to something like, I sell it for what I paid for it. I got this information for free. I'm giving it to you for free. No warranty, so on and so forth. Um, actually, seriously, to start reading through Russian phrase books and idiomatic compounds, they are amazing. So what we have here is something I can't assure you is correct. I mean, the story, the everything else is correct. I believe I saw something more accurate than this, real data, but this does well enough. This is about assumptions and not completely screwing things up. What we have here is a picture of, I don't even know what aircraft that's supposed to be, but the red marks are meant to be shell strikes during war, right? Whenever a bomber would come back, they'd meticulously look at all the holes in the airframe catalog, all the battle damage, and put a little marker on little charts, which eventually ended up leading to this. And the engineers would take a look at this airframe and say, all right, this is where the aircraft was struck. What can we make of this? Now, where things start getting to be a little more fiction and fact is there was some discussion that all of these dots, all the areas of the red dots are obviously struck more, so we should armor them, which is pointless. Uh, the concept of doing the exact opposite was attributed to Abraham Weld? Wald. Abraham Wald, I believe it was. And basically taking one look at this and taking taking a quick look at knowing anything about aviation. You can see there's no damage to the engines, there's no damage to the thin sections of the tail, there's no damage to the cockpit. This obviously is not the most vital part of the aircraft. These are the parts of the aircraft that were damaged when it came home. So any spot that isn't marked is a spot where if you put a round there, the aircraft goes down. And that's the entire point of this concept of this video is you take one look at this and you see here's where everything came back. Now, what happened all the other times? And you have to take a look at this uh, survivor bias, they call it. Survivorship bias? What matters most is that you can take a look at the data and say, Look at all those red dots, that's our problem. Or you take a look and say, the red dots are what bring you home. Everything that's untouched is the stuff that will kill you. And that's why sometimes you have to look at the negative space to figure out what you're missing so you can positively identify what it is that absolutely must bring you home. I do want to thank, obviously, Wikipedia and... Let's see... Uh, oh, here we go. Again. And, you know, share, share alike, I guess. If there's anything else I can do for you, please feel free to let me know. This is just something that popped in my head during the middle of the day. This is Michael Farragher from Between the Borders. Stay safe.